Good day, my loves. Top of the day to you. I hope you are well. I am sending you peace of mind, love and joy in your heart, and healing for our souls. My soul still needs a little bit of healing. But how about, I hope you are well. I'm saying I love you. If no one has told you today, just know that I love you you it's still early morning for me and i haven't even made it out the bed i've let my cat out i've given him his food and his treats make sure he has some water but i have yet to make it out the bed and normally when i do that i get up i make the bed i go make me some tea and i'm up but today is saturday and i feel like lounging he's already outside chasing birds and whatnot but Normally, I just try and sit quietly when he's gone, but I normally like be cleaning up and sweeping and stuff, but I didn't do any of that. Instead, I decided to scroll through newspapers. And actually, this was, I don't even know where I just seen this at. But the other day, I posted a video called Trigger Warning. And it's definitely a trigger warning because it was talking about sexual assault. And I am, you know how when you pull up your internet and it has like an explorer thing on the front of it where you can like go down and see like article clippings. That's what I was doing. And one of these articles, it's disgusting. One of these articles caught my attention and it says, Pastor, listen to what I'm telling you now. And I want you guys to look up the article yourselves if you can. A pastor in New York City, Seventh-day Adventist Church, advises his congregation that the best person to rape is your wife. Did I just say that? Yes, I did. A pastor, I believe he's in the Bronx, New York, Seventh Day Adventist, Mr. Burnett Robinson. Pastor Burnett Robinson. See, the way the planet is set up now, you have to tell on yourself. You're going to tell on yourself. You are going to take off your mask and allow people to see who you really are. I don't know how long that pastor has been there. I don't know how long he's been preaching, but for him to even utter the words rape and the best person, your wife, what kind of covenant is that with God? That is the craziest thing I've heard and I've never seen anything like it. And to think I had just posted a video about me not recognizing when I was sexually assaulted. And here you got this ignoramus, this vile human, advocating for husbands to rape their women, their wives. He said this. God take the wheel. Most high take the wheel. Because that is just crazy. How in his twisted mind does he think that raping anything, even an animal, animals can't consent, so those that have, ugh, disgusting. <sighs> Listen, if there are any men that watch my channel, and I hope you do, because it's very informative, because you have wives, you have daughters, you have mothers, you have aunties, you have sisters, and you have cousins, and you have grandmas. So even if my content, it's for everybody, but I know it's mainly concentrated on women and how we heal, but you can learn how to support your woman, cousins, women family members you can you can you can learn how to support them from my channel 
And one of the ways you, you support them is not by advocating that their husbands are allowed to rape their wives. This is a trigger warning as well. It's not as bad as the other one, but this is one. The other one was a little bit more in detail and graphic. But yeah, look up this article, guys, and see what, what really we are up against because that is a demonic force in the church. You know, the church has been infiltrated with dem demons for the longest time. It has. And the way the planet is set up now with all the different energies and the planetary alignments, that's not going to fly. It can't. How are we to heal? How are we to even heal the wounds that we have if you have men out there advocating rape of their wives? No means no. It doesn't matter if she's your wife or not. She still has her own body. She still has her autonomy. And it's still, you still have to have permission. You still have to ask. You still have to have consent. If it is not consensual, it doesn't matter whether or not it's a, if it's, if it's her husband, it's still rape. And I would bring charges up on my husband. Be careful out there, ladies. Use your discernment. Use your third eye. Use your intuition. And pay attention. Be aware of the men that you're around. If they say and do anything that's uncomfortable the first time along those lines, listen, then that means there's something deeper. If they say things to make you feel uncomfortable, like I'm trying to figure out what could this, if, if this man is married, I didn't even go into detail to look and see, but if this man is married and if he has daughters, that's MK Ultra for your behind. You hear what I'm saying? Like, I really do hope he's not married. And if he is married, I hope his wife left him. And I don't generally say that, but for a pastor to advocate men to rape their women and it's the he's now this is the thing though he said the best person to rape is your wife so he's not even saying don't rape nobody else he's saying if you're gonna rape rape your wife because she's the best person why because she's married to you and she probably won't like that is diabolical y'all and the more i think about it the more i'm like my hands is tensing up. It's really what it is. Back in my days, I would fight that man. <laughs> I would, my justice for men like him is to get beat up by women like me. Yeah. I beat up boys when I was younger. And probably for that reason, because they were misogynistic and sadistic at the same damn time. Like, that is so ridiculous. A man of the cloth. Do you see how infested the church is? I do believe God's original plan for the church was for us to embody it ourselves. I really do. I think all these man-made churches have been infected. We can congregate. But not in churches that promote rape of women, especially of the most sacred woman, which is your wife. A man that findeth a good thing, findeth a wife, and you would rape her? The woman that bears your children, you would rape her? The woman that makes your house a home, you would rape her? The woman that cooks your meals, and breastfeeds your children. You would rape her. You would violate her. Shame on you, Mr. Barnett. Shame on you, Mr. Barnett. Shame on you. And I don't have no cap on. I, I, I woke up and I didn't even want to get presentable. My hair twisted up looking like. But shame on you. Let me let you see my face with the sun. Oh, sorry. Shame on y'all to bleep that out. 
Shame on you, Mr. Barnett. And maybe I'll make another video when I'm not looking crazy. Let's see how transparent I want to be if I'm going to post this one. Because <laughs> I look, I ain't even clean up yet, y'all. But that is just awful for him to even think and say that. And you know if he think it and he said it, then he's done it. And I'm going to say, I shame Mazel Tov. 